WP Fomify or Fomify. You can see it here at WPFOMify.com. And Fomify comes from the word F-O-M-O, -O, the acronym FOMO, which stands for fear of missing out. And the, the notion of this plugin is that you try to convert people by um, generating the notion of scarcity and the fact that things are going away, but also, sorry, going to go away, but also the fact that people, um, apart from your good self, have been buying things. So it inspires social confidence and social proof that, um, that, that, that your website's legitimate and that things are being bought by other human beings. And the idea really is that it, it increases conversions um, for whatever it is that you are selling. So let's just talk it through. This is a brand new vanilla install of WordPress. There's nothing else in it apart from this plugin. So we'll just quickly click on the settings and have a look at what we've got. We've got the license key, which you'd obviously get if you won this because the makers of the plugin are the same people who make the um, power pack for Beaver Builder add-on. Um, and they're giving away two lifetime licenses. So it could be that two people are going to get a nice new license key, which they can put in here. You can disable the credit by, I presume that means it's going to take away any links um, showing that this plugin is um, written by Ideabox. Um, okay, so let's carry on. We've got some add-ons. Now, obviously, this plugin will, will work most of all when it's connected to something. So we've got Active Campaign, ConvertKit, Drip, Easy Digital Download, Give, Lifter LMS, MailChimp and WooCommerce. And the idea being that, for example, with WooCommerce, you could show a little pop-up which would look a little bit like this or this um, on your website when somebody has, for example, bought something or when somebody has signed up to something or when somebody has connected with your course or when somebody has donated or when somebody has downloaded something um, and these ones are you know email marketing CMSs if you like and so when when some activity has happened in your in your lists okay so let's just go through it let's add a new um, one so I'm going to call this test and it's active now, there are four types of um, presentation for this plugin. There's a FOMO bar, a conversion, a review, and a floating button. We'll have a look very briefly at them um, one at a time. So I'm going to go for FOMO bar, and let's go to the content area. And I'm going to say this is the content, which is very bland, but you get the idea. I'm going to make it a fixed bar to the top. There's going to be a button, and it's going to say click here with three exclamation marks and there's going to be a URL. So obviously that's going to be going somewhere else, some landing page or who knows, some uh, page which you want to direct them to. And I'm going to have a countdown timer on it and it's going to say three. And I'm going to imply that there are four days, one hour, six minutes and three seconds left on this uh, deal, whatever it might be. Now the design, um, very simple, you know, you go through the usual WordPress stuff. I'm going to make it garish and horrible um, so that you, but at least you'll get the idea. So here we go. Let's put a border color. Oh my goodness, this really will be awful, but never mind. We'll just demonstrate and we can add a shadow, a border, a design, colors. Uh, we can change the color of the bottom. Let's make it blue. Really, this is going to be hideous, but never mind. You get the principle. Okay, and we're going to then go on to where it's going to appear on the site. So we can show it everywhere or we can hide it on selected pages or show it on selected pages. So let's just for a moment say that we're going to show it on the front page and all posts. Uh, it's going to always display, but it could display only to logged out users, which is quite handy, or logged in users. Again, very handy. And new visitors only and recur returning visitors only. Okay, I'm going to get rid of all of this just for the purposes of seeing the thing, I'm going to put show everywhere. And I'm going to say that it's going to pop up after two seconds and we can make it go away after a period of time by also hiding it. Well, I'm not going to bother doing that. Otherwise, we won't see it. Hide it on mobile, hide it on desktop. Great. And then the tracking, we can add um, things, URL parameters so that we could, for example, track it with something like Google Analytics, campaign source, marketing medium, campaign name, campaign term, and so on. However, I'm just going to click publish. And we're going to go to our website over here on this tab, 
and simply refresh the page. And hopefully, if everything is working according to plan, we should see a little bar at the top appear with the really horrible colors. Now, there is an option in the in the UI to put a little cross here. Can't remember exactly where that is. It's probably in design. Um, maybe it's in content. I uh, can't remember where it is, but there is a, an option to make a little box, or maybe I've actually made the box, sorry, the little button, um, the little cross. Maybe I made it white so you can't actually see it, but it definitely is a possibility. Let's see if I can find it now, but it goes about there. Um, so yeah, we could click here. Obviously, you know, you've got this countdown ticking down. Hurry, you've got this offer expires in this amount of time. We can see the point of what this is for. It's great, really cool. Okay, let's change the let's change the the notion of this then over into a conversion. Now, really, at this point, you need to be connecting it to something like WooCommerce so that there is something measurable that's happened. Um, and down here at the bottom, we can now see what the little pop up, if you like, it's not really a pop up. I don't really know what to call that the little, the little thing that appears in the corner. You can see what it would look like, and we can set a, a particular customer avatar. Um, we can set a particular URL as a default avatar. Okay, we can go into content and we can have, um, in my case, because I installed the active campaign add on, I can make things happen with my lists. Now, I didn't configure the API keys and things, but presumably I could go in here and select a particular list um, and make interactions happen between that active campaign list. And the same presumably would happen if I enabled WooCommerce. I could make the source of things be WooCommerce-y things. Okay, so it's going to show the name of the person from such and such a place just signed up for our newsletter. Great. Um, and then we've got these options to add a different conversion um, so we've got a title, a name, an email, a city, a state, a country, and so on. And I presume that that is the text that would, would populate down here. I'm not entirely sure, but again, design, visibility, tracking. Okay. Let's save it. Let's see what that looks like. Um, we have nothing assigned, so it might not work particularly well, but you can see what the purpose is. Um, are we going to get anything? Possibly not because I, oh, there we go in the corner. Somebody, because there's no name, some blank just signed up for your newsletter and it went away after a variety, you know, maybe eight or nine seconds, probably as set up in here. There you go, hides after six seconds. So as not to become annoying. Great. Okay, show close button. There was the option just in there. So that was the op option that we could have had called a conversion. We've got reviews, same sort of thing. Let's update this and see what it looks like. I'm just going to see if this visibility is going to go away after a few seconds. This one's got rounded corners by the looks of things. It's got an entirely different design uh, design option set there. So let's click refresh, see what it looks like. And where's it coming? Is it coming? Is it going to come? Perhaps not. Did I set something up incorrectly? Let's look at visibility. Show everywhere, always to all visitors, initial. And then it's gonna go away. I don't know why that one isn't coming up. I'm not entirely sure. Let's say that it doesn't hide after any amount of time and it comes on after three seconds. Maybe I didn't update, who knows? Or maybe I'm just not configuring it correctly. That is of course another option, another possibility. Give it a couple of seconds. No, nope, not entirely sure why that's going on. Anyway, the, the point is you get the idea of what this is for. Uh, perhaps somebody has to leave a review. Perhaps there has to be some actual connection bit before it will um, display what it's supposed to display because nobody has reviewed anything. So there is no star rating, for example, uh, which we could obviously plunder from something like WooCommerce. And the other option then would be a floating button Let's see what that's going to do. It's going to look like this little option here. We've got an icon. You can pick a dash icon or a custom icon. It looks like you can add some text here and some content. Well, let's put header in there. Whoops, my bits and pieces coming up there. And let's put content in there. Let's click Save. The design of, again, will I'm sure be hideously ugly, floating button. 
Um, always, always, always. Okay, let's see what that looks like if we click refresh over here. Yeah, there it is right away. Great. Yeah, we could put any kind of message we like in there, which might be very useful. So I hope you can see that this plugin has a variety of uses. I think the one that I would be most likely to use is this floating button or possibly the conversions connected to something like WooCommerce. Haven't got the time to go into that into in great detail right now, but hopefully one of you, two of you, should I say, will snag this prize and win it. Um, the competition is going to be beginning today, Wednesday, the 25th of October, 2017, and it will end two weeks from today and go to wpbuilds.com forward slash win to grab it, or at least try and grab it. Good luck. And I hope you are the winner because you are my favorite.